know what the number one symptom that you have a serious heart problem? You know what the symptom is? Death. You die. <laughs> hate that symptom. He's been awarded over 45 patents. He provides innovation consulting services to the top brands in the world. Please give it up for one of the most innovative thinkers in the world, Nicholas Webb. Healthcare represents about a third of the US economy. Could hackers literally be destroying healthcare? Yeah. Your biggest competitors are not the clinic down the street. They're not the other manufacturer. They are Apple, Amazon, and Google. They are experts at developing relevancy and customization, and they're killing it. Take a look at their moves. As cavemen and women, we would blow air across our larynx and form words, and then we formed languages, and then we were able to write down the language, and then we were able to type the language, and then we were able to democratize it and print the language. And for those of you who suffered through DOS, we then had to code the language. And then when Apple came out, we got to point. And then when smartphones came out, we got to thumb. We will go back to our origin of the most intuitive form of communication, back to talking. That is the future OS. We're at a point now where you are going to be diagnosed every five minutes, and we're going to anticipate and prevent sickness, and we're going to prevent death by monitoring you as if you were in an ICU. 50% of clinical visits are being transmuted to doctor-on-demand type solutions. Going to the doctor, at least from a primary care perspective, is so 2017. I facilitated over the largest healthcare hackathon in history, and I asked the nurses in the room, could you please raise your hand if you see in your hospital tremendous waste? Every single person in that audience raised their hands. And then I asked them one more question. I said, has anybody asked you your opinion on how we can improve efficiency, how we can improve safety, how we can deliver better clinical efficacy, how we can operate superstar organizations? Has anybody ever asked you that in the last six months? Not one hand was raised. So when we think about innovation, we think about this lofty thing, but really it's about our ability to be active observers, to create a culture of collaboration. Remember, all of this is making a meaningful change in the lives of patients, delivering incredible quality of care and doing something special. I know it's hard to change and it's hard to learn these things, but I really believe there is a tremendous opportunity for us to participate in this.